Hey there, I am Liz with Simply Delicious Baking, and in this video, we are making blueberry lemon cobbler with plump, juicy blueberries and lemon zest, all blanketed in a sweet, buttery, golden brown crust. This cobbler is absolutely, yes, absolutely mouthwateringly delicious. It requires just simple ingredients and minimal effort and it is going to give you a delectable dessert that is going to make your taste buds so happy. Yes, so happy, y'all. So let's bake some up, but first, please like and subscribe. Now let's bake. Let's start off by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. Let's take a 9 by 13 baking dish and add a half a cup of butter. That's one stick of butter to our baking dish. We're going to place that in a 350 degree oven and let that butter fully melt. This is going to allow the pan to self grease so you don't have to grease it. Now it's time for the star of our video. Drum roll please. The blueberries. I am using four cups of plump juicy blueberries. Let's pour these in a large mixing bowl. And let's sweeten our blueberries by adding a fourth cup of sugar to them. We are going to mix that sugar in with our blueberries. So some of you might be asking yourselves, can I use frozen blueberries in this recipe? The answer is yes. Frozen blueberries work really, really well in this recipe. You might want to add a tablespoon or two of cornstarch this is going to help soak up the extra juice produced by the frozen blueberries. You also might want to cook it another five to ten minutes because we are starting with frozen blueberries. One more little tip. If you are a lover of sweet buttery crust like I am, you might want to use just three to three and a half cups of blueberries. This will allow you to taste more of that sweet buttery crust, which we love. If you could care less about the crust and you love those blueberries, you will definitely want to use four cups of blueberries. You might even want to use four and a half cups of blueberries. However, remember, fresh is best. Now, back to our regularly scheduled video. Now it's time for the co-star of our recipe, the lemon. Let's zest one lemon into our blueberry mixture and let's mix that together. The lemons really enhance the flavor of the blueberries. Lemons and blueberries are simply a flavor power couple combination. The last thing we're gonna add to our blueberries is our vanilla. We're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let's mix that in. And now let's set our blueberry mixture aside. Now it's time to make my favorite part of the cobbler, the crust. The sweet buttery crust is going to envelope and blanket our blueberries while the cobbler bakes. To make our crust, let's add a cup of flour to a large mixing bowl. To that, let's add a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, a cup of sugar, and let's whisk these together. Then we're going to add a cup of milk and we're going to whisk that all together. Now it's time to bring this recipe all together. Don't forget we have that butter melting in the oven. So let's get it out and don't turn off your oven. Ooh folks, this butter just smells so good. Let's pour our crust batter into the melted butter. This is just pure yum here. Can you see the crust starting to bake as it hits the hot butter? Now it's time to spoon the blueberries over the batter. We are going to make sure that you get a nice even layer of blueberries. We don't want one part that's all crust and another part that's a hill of blueberries. That is just not right and it's just not just to this blueberry cobbler. Now it's off to that 350 degree oven for 30 minutes 
or until it's golden. Another way we can test for deadness is with our trusty friend, the toothpick. Just take your cobbler out, insert the toothpick in the middle in a crusty part, take it out. If it comes out clean or with just some dry crumbs, you're ready to go. However, if it comes out with some batter left on it, back in the oven. Just look at this gorgeous blueberry yum, folks. This blueberry cobbler is perfect for family dessert, a cookout, a church potluck, breakfast, and even <gasps> midnight snacking. It's time to grab a scoop or two or even three of our blueberry lemon cobbler. And of course, we have to add a scoop of ice cream. Y'all have mercy this cobbler is to die for. I just love the way that lemon zest enhances this blueberry flavor. Trust me, this is minimal effort and maximum flavor. I hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.